What do Nigeria, Australia, Nebraska, and Davis all have in common? Chima Moneki. The Aggies basketball star has been around the world, but he's made a name for himself here in Northern California, and he's hoping to hear his name called on NBA Draft Night. He's the epitome of an elite student athlete. I can't say enough about the influence that he has on, on our, our team. He loves representing UC Davis and does it in a first class way. It's been a long and emotional journey for Chima Moneki, but it's far from over. When I first started playing basketball, like I, I didn't think it was realistic for me to get to where I am now. He was born in Abuja, Nigeria, raised in Canberra, Australia, and he's the youngest of six boys with diplomatic parents he hasn't seen in more than eight years. But he's found a new family in Davis. Pretty much everyone on the team is, you know, cool with him and, and you know, enjoys being around him off the court. It impacts how we play with him. And so he's, he's fun to be around. Moneki's love for sports started on the pitch with soccer. He didn't pick up a basketball until he was 13. I still wanted to play soccer, really. But um, as I started to get better and I, as I started to take it more seriously, that's when, like, my, my goal of playing in the NBA and playing in America, period, became like a realistic thing. The biggest challenge in the 6'6 senior's career thus far, just making it to the States. I was sending emails to hundreds of schools and I think about 300 schools I would say I sent to and I got two responses back. When I first got my junior college offer, I just remember like putting it down on my bed and just like crying for like five minutes and um, just realizing that like something I've been working on for a few years at that time is becoming realistic. It was such a great feeling. After playing two years at a junior college in Nebraska, a chance meeting in Missouri with UC Davis head coach Jim Les changed his path. And there were probably 150 basketball players there, and I actually went to the event to see another young man we were recruiting, and he, he just caught my eye. I thought he played hard. He played with passion. His personality, the way he carried himself, his life story, uh, and then throwing the fact that he was a ambitious student, academics was important to him and his family. Uh, it just, right from the get-go, uh, I knew there was potential for it to be a really good match. The forward helped the Aggies make history last year with their first conference tournament championship and NCAA tournament appearance. It was probably the best nine days of my life because of, you know, we were the first team to do something at this school, period, so like we're going to we're going to be remembered forever, which is always a cool thing. And I feel like that team was just a bunch of underdogs that nobody really believed in, recruited heavily. And the fact that we achieved something that a lot of people didn't think we could was amazing. Outside doubt has done nothing but fuel Moneki's development. Well, he's aggressive. No one can stop him. He's the most dominant big man in the country, honestly. He leads the Aggies in scoring and rebounding, and after helping the Aggies to their first win over a Pac-12 opponent in more than a decade, Moneki was named National Player of the Week. But his ultimate goal, become the next impactful NBA player to come out of Australia and the first NBA player to ever come out of UC Davis. If it happens and that's my goal, then um, it'll be a huge deal. But I'm kind of focusing on now, but I want to go back to the tournament again. I want to leave a legacy. I don't want to lose at home. We still haven't lost a game that I played in on this court, so I want to keep that going. Um, and yeah, if I'm able to go to the tournament twice in my two years of playing Division One basketball, I think that'll be better than anything I could have expected. Now, if you know someone worthy of being an Athletics Unlimited sports standout and would like to see them featured on air and online, let us know on our Facebook page, ABC10 TV.